Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Got to always be advertising. So have you ever started something thinking you knew exactly what the outcome was going to be, only to find that the best results were completely unintended? Well, in 2009, I was working in the financial services industry. You can probably tell by my shirt, I didn't really fit in. I got laid off, and this was absolutely the best thing to ever happen to me. I always had a passion for the fashion industry, but what I found was that the irony in the industry was that it didn't sell itself as a way for you to express who you were, but actually as a means to become who you thought you should be. And I wanted to combat this toxic and archaic approach. So in 2010, like Andy was telling you, I started my own boutique here in Carytown called West Coast Kicks. The idea is simple, empower our customers to be able to express themselves. But how do you create this kind of safe environment where they can do this? The key lied within, actually, because what we realized, my colleagues and I, was that we weren't judging others, which allowed us to not be afraid of being judged. That's exactly what Nice is Cool is all about. Nice is Cool is about flipping the script and saying that it's not enough to be yourself. In fact, it's actually not even the answer. The answer is accepting others. This, in turn, creates the environment where you can express yourself and be yourself. So in 2010, actually just about a year ago, not 2010, had the opportunity to partner up with United Methodist Family Services. They're a local nonprofit that works with a lot of children right here in Richmond with uh, some troubled backgrounds. We partnered with their art therapy group to do a community cleanup, and the idea was very simple. It was pick up some trash, turn it into eco art, which you can see here. <clears throat> what struck me was when we sat down to think about what the theme of the project was going to be, the children immediately latched onto a concept called the circle of courage. Now, the circle has four stages, belonging, mastery, independence, and generosity. And the idea is to get them into a place where they're open, accepting of each other, so that they can ultimately give back. UMFS had actually created this safe environment that we so strive for, both personally, and I hope that all of you strive for as well, in your own daily lives. It was as if all social stigmas you and I deal with just didn't exist for them inside this one little art therapy group. Now, I urge you, like I said, to live this way, per both personally and professionally. Sometimes you're going to get off track, as we have. I always try to create this safe environment for my colleagues, for anybody that I touch, and for my customers as well. But when you get off track, just remember the roadmap. Nice is cool.